So we're off, we're starting. Let's hope it's going to be a good start. It is a few days early, so we shall see. So as dad would say, a fantastic morning to start. I'm pretty confident that I, I've got a backwards lamb. So here we are, April the 1st, and a slightly better morning. We have had quite a challenging spell of weather in terms of the amount of rainfall. It's been a really, really wet month, and then the snow as well. So the ground's very wet, conditions have not been ideal. Um, it's been a bit demor demoralizing and challenging to get through, but we're here in April, March is gone. We can put it behind us and uh, and hopefully things are going to pick up now for uh, lambing which starts next week and easter and hopefully april is going to be a better month some good news though the grass has definitely been growing so that's very positive and takes the burden off especially with the sheep they're not eating anywhere near as much hay um so it's good to see the fields greening up again and um, hopefully that should start to also make life a little bit easier. Um, in terms of the rainfall, we've had um, over 200 mil of rain in March. Um, obviously, February was very dry, 30 mil of rain. January was wet, 175 mil of rain. Um, and then sort of 100 mil of rain is pretty standard around here. So 200 is... It's definitely a wet month off the back of um, a dry spell. I think the most difficult part has been that the days have been getting longer, but it doesn't really feel like it because it's been so dark and uh, hard conditions to really get any outdoor jobs done. But the ponds are full. Lots of lovely water in there. And last week I swapped over to these buckets for the ewes, which um, have higher concentration of, um, of calcium. So hopefully that should help them sometimes around lambing time they become calcium deficient. So it's been a bit of a dirty old week in terms of rain and mud. Come on, Nick, it's your turn to have a little chat. What's that? How's it been then lately? What's been happening? Uh, so lately it has been very, very wet. Uh, we've had a lot of rain. Um, uh, last year it was in February, this year March, uh, which has not really set us up very well for our field jobs. The cows look happy though. Yeah. The, the mud situation is just horrible. So we have to wait for it all to dry out, which hopefully, hopefully is coming. Today we are on the campsite, getting our bell tents set up. So as you can see, we've got a few campers on. And this is one of the bell tents. There's the shed that we work in, over there. Um, but yeah, in here, is one of our furnished bell tents that we've just cleaned and we need to reproof it and put a few things back in today. We're ready for next weekend. So 
currently a blank canvas kind of waiting for everything to put back in. So sunrise on Monday, April the 3rd. And we've got a frost. So the grass is all a little bit white tipped, but it's a beautiful day. And it was a lovely day. Yesterday it came out, a lovely day, started off a bit damp again. So we're hoping that the next couple of days, kind of some sunshine, some brighter weather, the ground can dry up a bit and, uh, and then life should start to feel good again. Morning girls. So it looks like we are starting so we're off we're starting let's hope it's going to be a good start it is a few days early so we shall see so she's going to separate herself off to somewhere where she feels she can get on with it so hormones going a bit wacky um <laughs> Um, so that's the first one and um, I could see the feet were there. I think it might be a, a first timer. So I thought I'll just give her a hand um, to lamb it. So I managed to catch and, and hold her um, and get the lamb out and it all looks well. So I feel quite emotional. <laughs> to try and stand and the bond looks great and it looks like a fab little lamb so as dad would say a fantastic morning to start. Frosty, but that's okay because it'll warm up. Uh, the sun will come out, it's calm, it's, it's still and lovely, and a cracking first lamb. So we're just Nick's here now, holding the sheep down for me. I'm pretty confident that I, I've got a backwards lamb, which is why things were not progressing very fast. At least I think, I think that's the back foot. So I'm just trying to help her along with it now. Um, that's definitely a back leg. Okay. Nick, if you can put her other lamb back with her. 
so yeah back a backwards lamb um probably just not going to be as easy for her to lamb herself um and and um you can see the sort of yellowy color is a sign that it's lamb's been in a bit of distress but i think it's okay we're going to have a look at it now it's a nice family scene nice family scene hello morning So we've got one lamb great and then shaky lamb not quite so great yet. We've had a little tutorial in how to drink. Uh, I think that the second born has not quite quite figured it out yet. So the the ewe is as good as gold, uh, especially considering she's quite young, I think. Um, so we've held the lamb, sort of literally put the lamb on the teat had a tiny little drink or two tiny little drinks and um we're just going to give it a few minutes under the heat lamp while we go and do another job and then we'll come back and uh, see if we can have another drink So I did not want to be having to do this today, but somehow a gate came down and the singles and the twins got mixed up today. So we are gonna have to have another sort out. <laughs> so this is the sun setting on the first day of lambing and it was a bit of an unexpected first day really but we've made it through nearly <laughs> we've made it through